good morning my friends and channel subscribers Greg here from Brisbane Australia with another uncut unedited no bull video today's video inspired by yesterday's panel health panel that I participated in I was privileged to be invited to government research group that's trying to send message to general population how to live healthy life and that panel made me realize that I keep making videos in assumption that we all know basics of health, nutrition, why we exercise and so on. And listening to panel and ideas and message they're trying to perceive to our public, I just realized I probably need to start from the beginning and um, help people to make their own decisions to understand that weight loss is not related to health exercise is not related to weight loss they correlated but they're not related to one another and to help you with your goal when you start from the beginning first of all you need to define your goal if you'd like to be healthy it's one goal. If you would like to lose weight, it's a different goal. And the reason why goals are different, because you may lose weight, but it doesn't make you healthy. If you go to gym and exercise, it doesn't make you lose weight or become healthy. You can actually uh, uh, injure yourself if you don't know what you're doing. So my message is there's no uniform approach. Uh, for reasons of what you do in your life. And, and I guess that your knowledge makes the whole difference of how you approach what you're trying to do and achieve your goal because if you're not achieving your goal it will frustrate you and will make you revert to your old habits and probably um, even reverse those gains that you made before so let's focus on the first one let's say your goal is to lose weight Losing weight in the, in the nature of the scheme is very easy. That means not storing weight. And I'll quickly explain how weight gain works and then we will discuss weight loss. And then you understand that it has nothing to do with health and it's quite easy if you tweak your lifestyle. I've got three nutritional ingredients. Carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And when we ingest any of those, body has to react, right? Let's start with easy, one, easy ones, fats. Fats are never stored as fats. They come into the body, getting uh, metabolized and oxidized and uh, broken down. However, if you overeat fats, they will be stored, right? But that's not the point. Let's talk about uh, those that are definitely get stored. Um, less instant stored is a protein. Protein is a very good substance. It's helped you to repair muscles. It's helped you to uh, be not hungry because it's quite expensive to break down protein. However, protein is getting breaking down in our uh, body into amino acids and they will be broken down into glucose if you're not utilizing them. So point is, please do not ingest more protein that you should. And at every age group, requirement for protein is different. As we age, requirement for protein actually grows, right? So what I'm trying to say, consume a high amount of good fats, and there will be separate video what's good, what's not good. Consume moderate to a large amount of protein, right? And then we're going to carbohydrates. Carbohydrates is the only element that is not essential for our lives. And when carbohydrates get ingested, they get broken down into glucose in our bloodstream. And because spike of glucose perceived by our bodies to be dangerous occurrence, our body um, or pancreas secrete insulin to bring down that glucose level it's not just bringing it down and to take it out of bloodstream and put somewhere so it's 
get installed as a fat tissue and this is how we gain weight so we gain weight in two different uh, ways first we overeat and second we overeat carbs and or too much protein right so by attacking those you lose your weight what i'm trying to say is there's no need for diet there's no need for exercise there's no need for any food deprivation right you just need to eat well in a structured meal function and by the way if you eat more fatty proteiny food you will be more satisfied with your meals and your craving for next meal will be subsided so maybe you can do intermittent fasting or eating but there's another video about that so second one is an exercise an exercise is an interesting one because we're not losing weight or getting healthy when we exercise exercise is a stress and stress is not bad it's not good it's what it is why stress is bad because if your stress is chronic that creates a lot of damage in the body without repair if stress is temporary it's great because it's conditioning our body for better and make it more resilient that's where exercise steps in it creates temporary sharp stress and then body goes into recovery when i don't recommend to exercise if you live stressful life so if you're from gym going to some stressful uh work environment I think you need to reconsider other work if you can or your exercise you cannot go from stress to stress there's no recovery point and your body will create a lot of hormones that wouldn't work for you as a result you will gain weight you won't be healthy and you will incur injury this is where exercise could be healthy and could be not healthy right so here we go we've got exercise and nutrition fixed now i would like to talk to you about uh, uh little life hacks where our body is need most of our help is to inject those little stresses that body will respond well to it right we already mentioned one which is exercise so i don't recommend to go to the gym for two hours 30 minutes of all you can chuck in it exercise it's the best one you can you can produce next one intermittent eating or intermittent fasting try to exercise fasted do not eat in the morning i already mentioned if you would like not to be hungry in the morning there's an apple cider vinegar if you got uh, uh not enough uh, power or if you feel weak um electrolytes magnesium potassium sodium I'll put links down below for everything that I use, right? Those things need to be done for exercise. And by the way, if you're fasting, none of what I mentioned will break your fast, right? So fasting is a stressor in the body. What body does when you fast? It goes and collects half damaged uh, cells and proteins and recycle them. It eats its own self and it's called autophagy. Autophagy is something that you really want happen in your body from time to time. And because we will eat eventually, there's so much of good stuff happening when you're not eating. There's another thing that can induce autophagy is a heat shock. Heat shock is when you're diving into icy water or overheating of course you need to stay hydrated or alternation of both so the best thing you can do is go daily to sauna between 20 to 30 minutes at 90 to 95 degrees temperature i'm talking about dry sauna if you don't have access to sauna we all have cold water in the shower try to get at least five minutes of cold shower daily and the third one is what they call alternation the coldest shower you can handle and then the hotter shower you can handle or other way around the alternation in temperature create the temperature stress in the body and that should um, trigger what we call heat shock proteins i don't want to go into biology but um, that will help you so every time the dna opens to help uh, um, process in the body it shuts and it doesn't shut 
properly. It's called misfolding DNA or misfolding proteins, right? So when you trigger those heat shock proteins, it's refold DNA in the right way. And look, it's not 100% correct. It's just simple terminology how it helps you. But also in a sauna, if you can afford sauna, it drains your toxins from your adrenal system on the lymphatic system, right? I, I stay corrected, lymphatic system. Because blood flows, it's easy to get toxin out of the blood. But uh, uh, lymphatic system is not flowing, so you need to move and uh, get that toxin out of your body through the sweat. So here you go, there's no magic in exercise, there's no magic in nutrition, there's no magic in anything. If your goal is to lose weight, it will. Now you know what to do. If your goal is to be healthy and strong, exercise, do not overdo it. If your goal is to live longer, healthier, shock your body under stress for short period, period, periods of time and recover well. This is where sleep is most important. I hope this video you find it helpful and I hope it will branch into other things that I would like to talk about. Please um, comment down below if you're interested in any other subjects on that, um, in that direction. If you like this video, please hit thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. And I will publish more of what you guys um, would like to hear to help you with your goals. For now, thank you for watching. Until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.